Yes. And then what a win by Team USA. Here are your goal leaders from the entire tournament. Take a look. Matthew Boldy with five light lamp moments. That's so big time, and we are so thrilled to have you on. You're a national treasure, and you're a world junior champion. The gold medal, is it as breathtaking as I think it is? It is. It's heavier than you think, too. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you this. The game you played against Canada, such a magnificent rivalry going back decades, understandably playing on their soil. No fans, but the intensity at a ridiculous level. Clearly the biggest game of your life. What was it like to play in that game and win it? Yeah, it was crazy. I think uh, even going into it, uh, obviously it's a long tournament. You're, you're fatigued and everything like that. And just so much energy going into it that all that goes away, which is nuts. Um, you kind of go out there with fresh legs, which which is awesome. And then, like you said, it's an incredible rivalry. So you're kind of you're kind of on for hours even before the game, which can be a little mentally exhausting. But but it was awesome. It was a dream come true. Matthew, congratulations on the gold medal. You were terrific uh, right from the pre-tournament game all the way through to the end. You don't get to that gold medal game, though, unless you get past Finland in the semifinal. And, boy, that was a nail-biter. You ended up having a goal in that game. But you had a signature moment in that game, which I thought was so indicative of, Tell of what me, you're Jay. about, is that block shot in yes. the last 13 seconds. I mean, your teammates are hugging you there. I felt you just were such a guy that paid attention to details and made those sacrifices. We're seeing it here. What's going through your head as those seconds are just dialing down? Uh, not much. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, it was the longest minute and a half of my life. But, uh, I mean, going out there is uh, kind of a weird play. Our D actually made a decent play on it in front of the net and uh, just ended up going right out to their guy. And I was the first one there. And my instincts kind of took over, and I went down. And... Luckily, it hit me and went out of play because if I missed it, uh, I screened Spence pretty good, which which isn't the best. So You don't need any more street cred, but if you want, let's just say you blocked that with your eye, didn't you? I mean, that was a real gutsy <laughs> play by you. <laughs> Blocking that shot with your eye to secure the win, so great job yeah. there. Uh, but yeah. nonetheless, when, when we look at – I look at that game against Canada. The thing I was impressed with the most is your guys' tenacity to – understand this game against them we got to muddy this up we might have to play in the trenches and you did and you're successful so how much thought of you know went into that as far as your game plan yeah i think uh that was obviously a huge part of our game going into that but that was kind of our identity the whole tournament um obviously we had incredibly skilled players on our team so did canada but the whole tournament our, our basis was kind of get it deep and and keep teams uh on their toes down there i didn't think anyone could really keep up with us when we are cycling pucks and playing from the below the goal line, which is obviously really hard defensively and takes a, takes a really big toll on the defenseman. But going to that Canada game, we knew that's where offense was going to be. Uh, their decor is incredible, super skilled uh, offensive players. And we need to, to not kind of lead their uh, line rush with turn pucks over at our own blue line. Steven Nelson, who did such a great job calling the games, at one point talked about you not being on last year's team, and he said it left him feeling some kind of way. In terms of motivation, if you could talk to younger players who don't make teams or experience disappointments in the game, what would you say to them? Yeah, definitely. I think, uh, like you said, it was a heartbreak for me um, playing at the National Development Program. I, I kind of knew what it meant to wear the USA jersey. And kind of losing losing a chance to play in this tournament, you you really only get two years. And obviously, if you're super skilled and incredible, you get that extra year. But losing that year definitely hurt. Um, for me, I kind of just looked at it as something. Try to take the the most positives as I could away from it, which is tough. But uh, just kind of went back to school. Uh, I was in the same situation as my line mate Alex Newhook, who I thought should have been on that team last year too. But uh, Kind of talked to him a little bit, and we went out there and kind of dominated our second half of the college season and took over. And I think the the biggest thing we took from it was it's over with. You can't change it, so you just gotta gotta move on and, and make the most of it and prove everyone wrong. You know, Matthew, uh, this generation of hockey players that you're a part of, so much skill. And uh, I have to ask you about the between the legs goal because I, I coach 16 year olds. I see those kids working on that stuff all the time. 
and you executed it here beautifully in a game. I mean, take us through that because do you know you're going to do it when you get that puck in that spot? Uh, I think uh, in that spot it was a little bit easier. So you see, I was a little bit closer to the net than I usually am. Um, back was a little bit more towards the goalie. Um, just kind of how the play ended up working out for me. Uh, it happened hey, quick. You know what? I got to ask you, too, did you get a note from your coach, Jerry York, about that? Because I love Jerry. I think he's one of the great guys in hockey. Where you know, you're, I feel all you guys that go there are very fortunate to play for such a good person. Did you get a note from him about the, that move in front of the net? Uh, I think I might have gotten a text from him, but uh, <laughs> nothing too much. So, But he, definitely, uh, he was good to us the whole tournament, which is nice. Your name is Boldy. Throughout the tournament, I thought, if they can pull this off, when he signs autographs, why not sign Goldie? Is it something you'd consider? No, I, I, you're the first one that I've heard that from. So uh, maybe, maybe, maybe a couple of them just to get him in. Sign one for Tony. Sign one for Tony. Right. I am yeah. such a huge fan. You, your team, the way you guys represented our country was so inspiring. We are so proud of you and thrilled that you guys won gold. Thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me, guys. Matt Boldy and I.